Welcome to Medical Essentials Plus Anatomy and Physiology. Muscles of Mastication. The muscles of mastication are a group of muscles responsible for the chewing movement of the mandible. These muscles allow the upward, downward, and lateral movements of the mandible at the temporomandibular joint also called the TMJ joint. This function assists in grinding food and approximating the teeth. The primary muscles of mastication include the masseter, temporalis, lateral pterygoid, and the medial pterygoid. There are other muscles of the head and neck that participate in mastication. These are called secondary or accessory muscles. They include buccinator, suprahyoid muscles, digastric, mylohyoid, anginohyoid muscles, infrahyoid muscles, the sternohyoid, sternothyroid, thyrohyoid, and amahyoid muscles. Let's look at the primary muscles in more detail. Masseter. The masseter arises from the zygomatic process of the maxilla, medial and inferior surfaces of the zygomatic arch. It inserts into the ramus and angle of the mandible, and the lateral surface of the coronoid process of the mandible. It is innervated by the mandibular division of the trigeminal nerve. Masseter clenches the teeth and closes the lower jaws during mastication. Temporalis. Its fibers arise from the temporal fossa including parietal, temporal, and frontal bones. Temporalis inserts into the coronoid process and the anterior border of the ramus of the mandible. It is innervated by the mandibular division of the trigeminal nerve. Its main action is to clench the teeth and closes the jaw during mastication. Lateral pterygoid. The superior head arises from the lateral surface greater sphenoid wing, while the inferior head originates from the lateral surface of the lateral pterygoid plate. It inserts into the condyle of the mandible and the temporomandibular joint. It is innervated by the mandibular division of the trigeminal nerve. It functions to protrude the mandible, move the mandible bone sideways, and open jaws. Medial pterygoid. This muscle originates from the medial surface of the lateral pterygoid plate, the tuberosity of the maxilla, and the palatine bone. It inserts into the medial surface of the ramus and the angle of the mandible. It is also innervated by the mandibular division of the trigeminal nerve. It functions to clench teeth and closes the lower jaw during mastication. Conclusion All muscles are attached to the skull and ramy of the mandible which promotes movement at the temporomandibular joint. All four muscles are innervated by the fifth cranial nerve, trigeminal. Their main function is to clench the teeth, elevate the lower jaw, protrude the jaw, and allow lateralization during the process of mastication. Want to skyrocket your knowledge of anatomy and physiology? Incorporate coloring into your study strategy. Master the skeletal system with bones. The Human Anatomy Coloring Book. A visual study guide. Get chapter breakdowns. 50 plus detailed anatomical diagrams to color and label. Color code your work for easy referencing and review. Get diagrams with mnemonics to promote recall. And high yield overviews and summaries. Post chapter self tests and access to our video quizzes. Coloring anatomical diagrams solidify visual associations. Learn more improve recall and score higher check the description and bio and click the link to visit our store for more details don't forget to like share and subscribe for more tutorials and quizzes thanks for watching